So what is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 7th Electron tutorial in which we're gonna take a look at uh, how you can develop a frameless window in Electron and uh, we're gonna pretty much get started with another or rather our first app for Electron because I think that going by the documentation flow and uh, just pretty much grasping and grabbing and pretty much just seeing that how things work wouldn't work for you and at least it doesn't work for me when I'm learning something new I need to get my hands on to that thing so we'll be developing an application which would be pretty much like image editing and this has been suggested by um, someone in the comments sorry bro I forgot your name but uh, yeah I thought this was a good idea and uh, here we are so let's just do this so for this tutorial I'm gonna keep it restricted to how to create some frameless windows and it quite, it actually looks quite nice at least for me um, the frame kind of sucks right now for electron apps so let's just get rid of that so to do that what we're gonna do is go to our index.js and set this frame is false right and once you do that what will happen is that the default frame with the menu would disappear and we can just um, change this to a little low value we can just get rid of this at all right so okay so then we can say electron dot in our directory and uh, it should fire up or shouldn't it uh, okay I guess Avast screwed it up okay so Avast is detecting electron as a threat nope it's a false positive I don't know what I'm doing, bro. Um, electron, electron. I don't know. Whatever the last is doing. What the heck? I actually never use vast really. anyways okay so my antivirus just screwed up my development environment give me a sec okay so it looks like I just fixed it by restoring the app and now you can see that we get this ugly black window and that is it because it is frameless and uh, that's what pretty much we wanted right well not exactly so let's just do something about it so what we can do is uh, go to style.css and I guess I removed that div as well anyways and we get this code down in the middle right looks cool but what I want to do is actually make it movable right right now it's just it's just stuck nowhere so what we can do is uh, create another thing as header and uh, let's just say this is all inside content uh, and right here we can say class option and cross and div dot option and this is just a bar to minimize right and finally what we're gonna do is instead of body I'm gonna say that this is content and uh, yep and for header and for the div ID of text let's just say I'm just making it right now uh, like scroll one and I guess justify content center is not what we need and for header again we can say that this is display flex flex direction row reverse 
and uh, justify content flex start right so we can just give it a background of triple e for now to distinguish it from the bottom stuff and for content yeah that looks good okay let's take a look what we have got in here right so we need to make this one um, where it is flex direction row or rather column and then you can see that we have got our header but it doesn't look a lot nice right and actually <clears throat> we can just fire up developer console to see what is going on right now so what we can do is uh, we can say um, anywhere <clears throat> align self as stretch and that would pretty much make it full width <clears throat> and for the option where it is option you can see the color is black right now and you can see that we are getting there now right but the thing is how do you actually or oh, wait a minute yeah how do you actually make it movable right because it looks cool but uh, you still cannot move it right and that's not what we really want so let me just fix in some styles in here and then we might be able to um, see properly and why is it so large okay and now what we can do is uh, simply say something like option hover background red and uh, cursor pointer right so that is pretty much what we need for this so it looks good but again it's of no use for us now how do you fix that well actually chrome allows you to do something like webkit app region now what this does is that it defines some area or whatever selector you're working on as draggable right so this is actually a feature of chrome package tabs but it is available for electron as well so what this does is just like title bar of any application is kind of draggable webkit app region when specified with css makes it more or less like your title bar only you can drag that application window with the help of the thing you are targeting right so we'll just see that in a moment what that means and this actually pretty much eats and kills all of the events like click or hover or um, whatever events you have so you got to be careful while using this right so if we take a look again you would see that we are able to move this window now and that is right useful actually but what you will see that we lose our hover axis these hover styles or you know it's kind of not very smooth it does not fire the events properly right so how do you actually fix this thing how do you actually make them hover properly instead of just randomly sometimes hovering and sometimes not to do that what we can do is we can make the option region as no drag right because the the region which is draggable would eat all of the events most probably all the time right 
but uh, the when you set any specific region as no drag then it would have its uh, events and callbacks returned to itself so if you take a look now you can see that our cursor has become pointer and the events are now properly fired for these two buttons but again you lose dragging option for these two and i don't think so in windows as well you can drag with these right yep so that kind of makes sense to do so again you have your own title bar and you can drag with uh, it so yeah that's pretty much it for this one and uh, we can just as a matter of fact center this thing so we can say where's it justify content center align item center and display flex and we'll be good to go so that is how pretty much you make a very simple um, frameless window with the uh, electron and that is all for this tutorial in the next one i'm gonna create or start with the new application i was talking about so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe like the video and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one